Hello everybody, I'm going to, in this demonstration, show you how to do required practical 5 distillation of the product. Now, the unit that this goes in is unit, what is it, 4, 6, I can't remember. Basically what we're going to do is produce from a alcohol, we're going to produce a halogenoalkane. And the specific alcohol you're going to use is 2-methylpropan-2-ol. Okay, so that's a tertiary alcohol. And from that, you're going to produce 2-chloro-2-methylpropane. All right, so that's a tertiary halo-alkane. So, I'm going to do this video in a few parts because the practical itself is done in a few parts. So part one is carrying out the reaction itself. Part two is separating the required product from the reaction mixture. And then part three is to purify the product by distillation. So, first thing I'm going to do, in here, in my clamping stand, this piece of equipment is called a separating funnel. And it's very useful. We're going to perform the reaction in here. And we can then, we will see, we'll get two layers in our reaction mixture. We'll get our organic layer, that's the, the bit that we want, that's our product, and we'll get an aqueous layer underneath it, basically water uh, and anything else dissolved in there that um, we don't want. And we can drain that away, leaving us with just our, our product. Okay, so I'm going to do that bit first. And um, in this small measuring cylinder, I have got this. This is concentrated hydrochloric acid, which should really um, be used... In, oh, sorry, no, I'm lying. That's not what I've got in the small one. Apologies. That's what I've got in the big one. In the small one, this 10 milliliter measuring cylinder, I have got my alcohol, my 2 methyl propan 2 ol The first thing I'm going to do is to weigh the mass of that and I'm going to record it. It's really important because people actually frequently forget to record these things. So the total mass is 15.95 grams. Okay? So I'm going to pour that, making sure that my tap is closed, which it is. I'm going to pour that into my separating funnel. There it goes. And I'm then going to weigh the mass of my empty measuring cylinder, which is exactly 8 grams. And that therefore tells me the mass of the alcohol, which I will need later. Okay? Right. Next thing I'm going to do, this is the bit, the point at which I add my concentrated hydrochloric acid. Now ideally we'd use maybe a clean cupboard, um, and actually I did get a little bit on my skin when I was pouring it out, but I'm here to sell the towel so it's fine. So I'm going to pour this in slowly, okay? And once it's poured in, I'm going to stopper it, and I need to then not shake so much, but invert, and you can see that there are a few, well you probably can't see it actually, but there are a few needs being produced. Um, I need to invert that. Let's just see if it says. Okay, I'm just gonna just add it, there we go. I've got a nice kind of slow drip stream of that going in now. I am adding it slightly faster than I would recommend you do or slightly faster than I would if I were trying to get decent results here. Okay. Next thing I do is I replace the stopper. Now I'm going to take that separating funnel out of the clamping stand and I'm going to invert it, okay, and in between an inverting periods, I'm going to re uh, remove the stopper and then continue to invert. Okay, so periodically removing the stopper. And when you remove that stopper, you will feel a build-up of pressure. There is gas in there being produced, okay? And that's the reason, and they might ask you why is it important that the stopper is removed? And it's important the stopper is removed to avoid the build-up of gas. 
okay? Now you do that actually for a reasonably long period of time. It says you should do that for about 15 minutes. And that's not going to, sorry, it's, uh, it's home time, which is probably the background noise that you can hear from closing windows in a minute. Um, it says to do that for 15 minutes. I'm not going to do it for 15 minutes because it will make for a fairly boring video. But if you're doing it, you should. Okay? Right, so let's pretend I've done that for 15 minutes. You then pop it back in the clamp and you leave it to settle. If you just bear with me, I'm going to close the windows. we won't see it in this video because I've not really reacted these very well at all. But what will start to happen after a while is you will get these two different layers and they will be quite distinct. So if you think about how distinct it is when you have, say, oil and water together and the layers that are formed, it will be obvious, okay? And so all you then need to do is to drain away the obvious layer and that leaves you with your product. I'm going to stop this video here, I'm going to let that settle, wait till we've got our layers, and then I'll talk you through the next bit.